Congressman Porter, uh, what draw, drew you to the Nelson plan? I love that you're calling it the Nelson plan because this really <laughs> is a plan that comes from Sarah's advocacy for airline workers. And so having survived and watched what happened with the TARP bailout of Wall Street in after the economic crisis in 2008 and 2009, I knew how angry Americans were going to be when they got the short end of the stick and big corporations got sweetheart deals. And what I saw in the CARES Act was that legislation was written very, very quickly. It was it was not good. It was a it was a sweetheart deal for corporations. And then all of a sudden, these amazing worker centered provisions came into the CARES Act for the airline industry. And that was the result of Sarah amplifying those voices and House Democrats uh, and Senate Democrats standing up for workers and putting them first in this coronavirus relief package. Well, uh, as Washington tradition has it, uh, when you come up with a plan, it gets named after you. And that's why I've been calling it the Nelson plan. And uh, and as any veteran of legislative process in Washington knows, when it's a big bill and it's last minute and it's rushed, all sorts of bad things happen. And Sarah, I have to tell you, when I was working there in the Senate Finance Committee, I saw labor leaders, including you know president of AFL-CIO, rush in there at the last minute. And it was too late. Uh, the corporate America just steamrolled them. Uh, and so I am kind of in awe of what you were able to accomplish there. How do you think it can be translated out into other fields? Well, Lawrence, I want to be really clear that what we did here was revolutionary, but it's also really simple. And we need simple plans in the middle of a crisis. And so these payroll grants are intended to go out. They were intended to go out on Monday. Secretary Mnuchin still has not put them out. And actually, Reuters released a list of questions that the airlines are getting today in order to apply for these grants. 15 questions long. One of them is about payroll. Four of them are about their frequent flyer miles, the, the people who are the investment bankers and they're helping Secretary Mnuchin. And so that's why we need the Congressional Oversight Commission established right away to make sure that Secretary Mnuchin is implementing this the way Congress intended, and also that this can be applied as a plan to all Americans so that we can keep the paychecks going, keep people in their jobs, connected to their health care, and ready to lift our economy off again on the other side of this threat. 